my prescription for biotech going forward, uh, I think it's incredibly important that on the academic side, we educate the next generation um, not around content or memorization, but the ability to solve problems and think critically about really hard things. I think that as an educational system, we should be turning out people who can work in teams, who can communicate complex ideas, who can work on really hard problems. That's, the, that's what I'd like to do from the university side. From the industry side, um, I think that companies have a large role to play in offering internships to students. I think from a human resources perspective, that's a great thing to do. Um, if you have an intern, it's a great way to check them out before you hire them. Um, interns typically hit the ground running faster in company settings, and so the on-ramping process is simplified. Um, but also just giving students a bigger picture outside the university I think is very important whether they choose to end up working in industry or coming back and being a professor. Having that big picture is extraordinarily important to us as a society that we want our scientists working on things that, that matter and that can move the field forward. I think that um, science especially is an incremental thing. We always like to think that there's that one girl who can cure cancer, right? And it doesn't work that way. We always talk about um, putting science forward, getting it to advance on the shoulders of the people who came before. And so these incremental things occasionally turn out to be really great discoveries. But understanding that the human workforce or the people who are coming before us and that we have a role to play in developing these people and the next generation and the next generation I think it's important to understand from both the science side but also the human resources side, whether you're in the university or whether you're in a company. I think the other thing that's interesting is in biotech, things change so fast that the things I studied um, when I was a graduate student um, are kind of old and passe. You know, the techniques change so rapidly. Um, students need to know that and understand that and embrace that, right? That they're going to learn how to use the new microscope or the new cool instrument. But on the company side also, the vast majority of biotech companies don't survive past five years. And so that intellectual knowledge, that intellectual capital that you build, even if your company doesn't survive, it ends up going into other companies. And so San Diego is a biotechnology hub, and it's because Many of us have worked in several different companies, so that intellectual capital that comes from the people is something to nurture.